I just took over digital media five months ago, uh, actually seven months ago, and uh, in that time I've had to uh, hire a staff from ground zero, uh, set up not only the editorial process and put out an issue every month, but uh, then get uh, new technology in. And uh, actually one of the things we're thinking about doing is using personal link to keep people linked as they move around. Uh, you know, I don't want to be a hands-on manager, I want to be a email manager and, and deal with people that way. We spend all our time trying to figure out what's going to happen in the world of uh, digital technology. Uh, not only how people are going to uh, put it to use, but what kinds of things are going to be available in the home, um, what kind of publishing opportunities there are, uh, whether or not there are completely new businesses nobody's ever imagined before. and. Um, uh, we spend our time using this stuff and guessing a lot. I'll check my mail. Hey, I'm getting three messages. A couple from Dave. Delicate fingers. Yeah, I lost my pen the first day. Uh, Dear Mitch, just downloaded the graffiti demo from Publisher, and it does seem to work pretty well. So. Graffiti is something that actually lets you do handwriting recognition. I need to be able to you know, get access not only to personal link email, but to all my email through this thing at some point along the way. The best agent in this thing is the ability to send off a message saying, can you find the address and phone number and all the information about whomever I want to find out about. Um, they have to have an account in the system, but if they do, boy, you get some good stuff. This is something you can do. You can send off a message to Publisher, which is this agent that lives on the network, and he'll send back a list of all of the new applications that are out there. We're sending off the, the request to Publisher, and Publisher will send back these two applications when I next log on. Um, the, uh, the, the neat thing about personal link, the network, is that it allows people to connect to one another, but it also allows businesses to put up information and put up applications. The agents allow you to do a lot of the human things that we can't do over a, a great distance. Uh, that's why we have uh, high hopes here at Digital Media that we can use this to collaborate across wide areas. Uh, Newton, you have to enter everything in. It's a very kind of uh, cumbersome task to say just put a hundred people into your um, um, uh, address book. You know, it takes about two hours to get 10 in. I've got 150 people in the address book for this just because I've sent off requests and every time somebody sends me mail their card comes with it. It solves a lot of the problems of you know beginning to communicate and use this thing. They're aimed at solving different problems. Uh, Newton is a device for, for collecting and retrieving uh, uh, a lot of short information quickly. It's a little bit like uh, the lower right quadrant of your cerebellum where you put a bunch of uh, short-term memory stuff that you're going to need access to. Sony's uh, device and, and personal link, the network, is all about communicating. And that's, that's a fundamental difference, and it's one that I think uh, uh, will grow much more uh, adeptly over time. I thought technology was supposed to achieve the paperless office. Well, the paperless office... Uh, uh, it's a matter of choices. You have to know when you're going to want something on paper and when you're not. Unfortunately, nobody around us knows when we don't want things on paper. Uh, the great thing about email is that you don't have to take it out to the recycling bin. I'm buried under information, which is actually, you know, this dirty office that we were joking about a few minutes ago is sort of indicative of the state of the digital world. Uh, it's filled with lots and lots of information you have to sort through. That's why I hope someday the agents can take care of it for me. So, let's see what other. And of course, then you just fold this sucker up and in it goes. You know, you can drop these too. That's the great thing about them. I don't know what your schedule is, Miss. Where are you packing to go? How come? Well, <clears throat> how come? Well, I don't know. It's just something about wanting to see my family. This office is located in San Francisco. However, I despise living in San Francisco. I choose to live in Tacoma, Washington. I fly a thousand miles and I, or not every week, I try not to do it as often as that anymore. I call Mitch a very mobile kind of guy. All Mitch does is mobile. I hear from him every way except in person. I think he sort of uh, uh, is um, 
underplaying a bit how much, how often he moves around. He says he leaves on Friday, he leaves on Monday, he leaves on Tuesday, he leaves on Wednesday, he's in, he's out, you know. It, it takes a lot of uh, information processing just to keep up with Mitch's schedule. The digital media world has about seven capitals, and so you have to move constantly to really follow it. There's New York, there's Los Angeles, San Francisco, where you've got the multimedia gulch. Uh, you've, anything having to do with this has to include Microsoft, and so it's not a bad thing to live in the Seattle area. Um, the, the world is uh, uh, shrinking, but it's only shrinking because we can go everywhere faster. And so that's why I travel constantly. So something like personal link is uh, more than just a luxury then, right? Absolutely. This is a necessity for me. I, uh, in addition to personal link, I have uh, eight other email accounts you know, on MCI. and on t I have three internet addresses. Um, CompuServe, eWorld, and AOL. I think that's the, that's the total. I get 350 email messages a day. I send uh, 25 to 30 a day. So that's it. This is how the week ends. I say, Margie, yeah. see ya. This is my address so that you can send me mail. Will you write this down because Stafford's calling you for it? A five eight six three six four three six nine four at a t t p l s dot net. Let's see. What am I carrying today? I'm carrying uh, uh, a PowerBook 540C, a cellular phone, uh, the Magic Link, Adios, CD player. Um, magneto optical uh, oh, discs we're, we're that I use here and at home have, like, to do large today. archive stuff. I mean, I basically ca I carry a couple of gigabytes of information with me all the time, so I can search for really things. Good at dropping off. Um, I just recently stopped carrying two power books um, because I found I was able to do uh, considerably more um, with uh, just the the combination of the Magic Link and the and the um, power book. With CBS News. Uh, can I ask you a question? No. You're sure? What kind of a question? You recognize me, don't you? I'm morally safer. Yeah, right. All right, OK. So I need those keys to get into the. You tend to look at it as an investment in making people work better and harder and longer. Hi, Roseanne. How you doing? Not a bad day today. What's that you got in your hand? Oh, got my magic book. Got my magic link. Morning, Bill. Good morning, Roseanne. How you doing? Good. Did you get my message I sent last night? Yeah, I did. I need to get with you for on a couple of things when you get ready. Fine. I'll be with you in just a short minute or two. Hi, Roseanne. I got a message from Bill in Sarasota yesterday. Uh, he wants me to give him a call regarding uh, the meeting we went, that we went to last week. He was, uh, he was on vacation last week. Oh, good. And he's finally into his magic link. Yeah, so I'll be able to fill him in on how to use that and uh, show him a couple tricks. Oh, good, because I need to send a message to Carlos on pricing, so I was just getting ready to send that one out. What are you typing there, Roseanne? Uh, I had a customer yesterday who came in and wanted a special monitor, uh, so what I am doing is sending a message to my regional manager, and being that he is all over the area, this is the easiest way for me to get a hold of him. And just to personalize it, I can put my signature on it. I can just pick it out and move it any place I want it. My daily newspaper is in here. And uh, when I take two minutes to have some quiet time, I'll go and see what the latest news is. I have listing of groups. I, in, I have suspects, people that have come in that have asked me some questions. They're not quite sure what they're going to be or what they want, they're more on a little bit of a shopping information gathering tour. Then I have 
my prospect lists, which are people I know are going to be buying systems down the road, and it kind of makes it easier for me to keep track of who's who. I had a customer who called me who was looking for an internal CD-ROM to add to his existing machine, and I have just gotten a shipment of two different manufacturers in, so I'm going to call him, let him know I have them, let him know what the prices are, and see if we can come in and ha have them come into the store. Okay, I can, I can put a, a cable onto it. It's on the wall now, and I can cable it into one of the computers so you can get a demo on it. Why don't you give me your phone number, and then uh, as soon as I can get it hooked up, which will probably be in about a couple of hours, I can give you a call and let you know that it's up and working, so whatever at your convenience you want to come in. 4109. Okay, great, Mr. Bauer. As soon as I get all that information, I'll give you a call. What I'm doing is putting in one of the orders that we had placed with our warehouse on a Canon bubble jet printer, and I'm hoping that it came in. And what I do is I cheat. There's my printer. It's right here. Check it off. Yes, Karen, hi, this is Roseanne. Is Megan there, please? Uh, okay, could you do me a favor? Could you, could you leave her a message for me? Can you tell her that the printer she ordered is in now? Okay, and if she can give me a call back at the store at her, avail at, at her convenience? So why did you just send that woman a personal message and tell her that... Uh... If she had a magic link, it would have been so much easier to do, but right now, not too many people know about these, and hopefully this will become almost a standard for people that are out working and running businesses. Uh, this lady, Megan, uh, runs a home health agency, and they are adding some new systems. And it would, be very, it would have been very nice to have been able to just type her in a message and go. What's nice is having this in the store. It makes it so easy. Because so many people will see me using this, and they'll ask me questions about it. And on a Saturday and a Sunday when it's very busy, they can get a good idea from this and then ask me specific questions mm -hmm. about it, and that makes it nice. Can I put my Quicken into this? Everything. Quicken's yeah. in here already. I know, but I just dump the files. Just Do a Quicken save on all of your uh, files, on all of your input, and just download it right in. I'm the uh, store manager here at Sound Advice. Uh, what do you sell here? We sell uh, consumer electronics, uh, TVs, VCRs, car stereos, computers. Uh, communication devices is one of our newest categories. To me, it's a, it's a personal communicator. It allows me to keep in touch with my colleagues and other sources of information throughout the day just by uh, touching on the screen and, uh, and seeing what's happening in the outside world, outside what's happening right here in my little world. All of the uh, people that hold my position and hire in our company have them right now. It's a very useful tool. They can communicate with me without having to call me at the store throughout the day and uh, you know, take, up, uh, take up phone space and uh, call me away from customers. I can go right to this machine at any given point during the day and retrieve all the messages that I would normally get on voicemail or something like that and also give me a hard copy so I can uh, look at it and then respond. Uh, at my convenience. It doesn't I don't have to go answer a phone. Well, what I'm doing now is I'm sending a, a message to one of my uh, my people in the store, Roseanne. Uh, I want to set up a meeting and I want to make sure that she gets this message. I don't just want to walk up and and, uh, and tell her I want to speak with her. I want to send her something so I know it. Uh, I'm sure that it'll happen. She's got one of these devices too and it'll show up on her mail the next time she gets it this afternoon. If she's here in the store, why would you send it through personal link? Well, because I want to make sure she gets it. I don't want her to think it's just a passing conversation type thing. It's a, it's a, it's a very important request I want, that I want to see to it that she has it. Well, what about as a time saver? How does that help you in terms of time? Well, I don't have to wait for her to finish up with a customer. Uh, I don't have to interrupt her from a sale. I can just send this to her, and then when she has a minute, she'll get her messages, and uh, it'll be a detailed message of what's on my mind right now, not what I think about when I finally get a chance to speak with her. The message says, Roseanne, please get with me today before you leave the showroom. I want to set up a meeting with the regional computer staff, sales staff, for the end of the month meeting. Bill. And then what I do is go back to my desk, touch my outbox, 
touch my mailbox, and within the next couple of seconds, Roseanne will get her message from me through uh, personal link services. It lets me do things when I think about doing them. Like right now, what's on my mind is to get with Roseanne on setting up this meeting. Uh, chances are, if I wait till I get a chance to speak with her, uh, I'll forget. I have a few minutes between customers and it's nice and quiet in the store, so I want to see if anybody has sent me any messages. It's not difficult, it's just getting used to it. Oh, I have mail. It's from my boss, from Bill Ryan. Please get with me today before you leave the showroom. I want to set up a meeting with the regional computer sales staff for the end of the month. He probably sent it from within the store, in the office, when I was with a customer, rather than interrupt me while I was speaking with a customer. And this way he knows I've got it. When he goes back in, his machine will show that the message has been delivered, so I better get with him today or I'm in big trouble. And now I can go back and see if I have any customers on the floor, and I'm up to date with what the corporate people have to say. Next Wednesday, not this Wednesday. So what I'd like to do is I'd like you to send a personal link message to all the computer people okay. because they have a special computer financing program going on. Right. So they all know what's going on for next month. Uh, Melissa, you too, if you could send a message to all the sales managers in our region so we can so that we can all be on the same page. About the 31st at uh, 9 a.m. Okay, so you'll take care of communicating with your with the computer people. You'll take care of the sales managers, and I'll take care of the rest. Okay. Okay. Uh, Nine o'clock, the 30th. Nine o'clock. Very all good. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I've had this machine about a week and a half, totally, and I'm finding it every once in a while, you know, I may press the wrong button, but it's so easy, it gets me back to where I belong, and it keeps everything in such a nice, neat order. It makes it simple. I don't have little pieces of paper in my pocket. Um, I love it. I'm, I'm like, it's sort of like a calculator. You don't go back to doing math anymore on your own. Once I have this, I don't go back to paper. Morning. How you doing today? Oh, howdy. Oh, pretty good. Not a big day ahead. Yeah, what's on the agenda for today? Well, the uh, biggest thing is starting the fifth grade uh, computer class today down at their school. And I've been waiting for that for a couple of months. That's a, that's, that's a big day because about 30 kids get a, their brand new computers and they all get excited. You look forward to that? It's the biggest day in their life. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been actually, it's uh, about a month late. Couldn't get all the equipment in time. It's easy to do things 10 at a time, but it's harder, a lot harder to do 30 at a time. Can't count it on one hand. There's certain things of certain sizes that don't that I carry with me a lot that don't always fit into briefcases. So uh, this is my solution, the Magic Link. I like it because it's uh, it kind of handles all my my email and lets me play some games and sit in bed with it. And it's uh, it's just kind of nice and personal. I got my address list on. I got all my calendar appointments. I just use it all day long. Usually the first thing is to tap my mail, but if I if I haven't done it at home, which I haven't today, get the phone line plugged in. Uh, first, I like checking the daily news because, like a lot of people in my business, uh, don't, like to get little snippets of news. Kind of get the gist of it, enough that you can follow conversations during the day, but you don't need to read the whole long article every, or some, some days you just don't have time. I check out the news that's kind of related to the computers and stuff I'm interested in. With the agents, I really want to be able to, to which kind of articles I want. I'll be able to put in filters for certain kinds of articles. Like, I want to see any articles relating to Macintosh computer. Just want to see them, if the business section has an article or the front page or whatever. I think that's the best way to filter the news down to the level that I want. The thing that really intrigues me about the agent idea, though, is being able to send out agents with instructions to search from computer to computer on the network and try to find something you're looking for, either an object to buy or, or some information you want. All my email now is done with, with this. I haven't, for about a month, I haven't used the computer for my email. 
Oh dear, somebody saw the Batmobile in my driveway. Huh. I prefer to send all my mail through AT&T. Um, some of it's to the internet through AT&T. Some of it's, uh, you know, if, if a person has an AT&T account, that's my preferred way. Whenever I need to mail something, instantly pops up an address selection of all the people that you have entered in your list. So I'll just be able to tap him by name, hmm. George Clark, and, uh, and not have to type in his address each time. Now that I have his name card, his name card includes email addresses, including his AT&T account number. So sending a postcard to him in the future will be as easy as this. Tap the desk to go to my desk. Tap the postcard stationery to get a new postcard. Check the stamp that comes up to make sure, oh, the first thing that comes up is select your person. I'll accept George Clark as my addressee. I check the stamp. The stamp says AT&T Personal Link Services, so I know it's going by that method, which is my preferred method, especially with this product, is to use AT&T. Oh, listen now. Oh, that's Pop it down, and I'll give him a little voice note for the heck of it. Now, when he gets it, he'll see the little lips, tap the lips, and he'll hear me saying whatever I say. Hi, George, it's me. Hi, George, it's me. If it were complicated to do, I, like, I had to go run another program, get the voice in, transfer the data file over, open it up, and go through a lot of selections, I wouldn't do it. Alex Bennett on the radio, I send him jokes with the punchline verbally, and then he plays it over and over on the air. Hi, Steve. Uh, hi, Dan. My idea was to uh, add a rule to AT&T Person Link Mail that would let me get a letter back when I, uh, to inform me that so-and-so received the letter that I sent them. So like a return receipt. Make it a stamp. Don't send. Now I gotta find a phone line. Great. What I did was I adjusted my Oh, you, you hit your brightness. <laughs> oh well. And we'll just send this out. Uh, you can set your incoming and your outgoing mail to forward to somewhere else or to, to examine the incoming. For example, if somebody puts an urgent stamp on a postcard or a letter coming to you that, that it handles it a different way. For example, if you have a beeper, it can send off a, a command to your beeper and let you know that you have an urgent letter that's waiting for you. Uh, uh, there's a whole bunch of rules. I, I, I've only got one of them set. Steve uses them more than I do. He's got uh, mail that forwards between his two, two different uh, uh, personal links. I've known Steve since before Apple Computer. We met at the Homebrew Computer Club years ago. So when you guys see something like this come out, this device and this service, what's your first instinct with it? Play with it. Play with it. See what it'll do. See if it has any real value. Or, you know, uh, I, I won't talk about any other PDAs that we might have used, but this is the first one. This one is communication-centric. This is the first one that's not just fun, but that you actually can use for things. Because the, uh, as I said, I won't, won't mention any other PDA that I might have used, but I, I find myself carrying this one around and actually using it. We're kind of, it's a brand new product, and we're kind of the first ones to try it out and find out what are the answers, because you don't really know from what you read what works well, what really enhances your life. So you have to give it a fair trial. So the first thing is set up a few accounts, especially the mailing accounts. Um, I've been through on another PDA, I went through some wireless accounts and just discovered that, heck, all you've got really is a pager, and you might as well look at a pager and read the message. Why do you have to stick it in a machine to read it? As a communications tool, Dan, you know, do you think it's got promise? Yes, yeah. I, 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 find, I find that my personal email methodology is to send short notes to people, not long. If, if, it's, if it's more than a paragraph, I'm going to pick up the phone and I'm going to call. It kind of replaces a lot of the, the smaller machines, but it does so much more than the small machines that capture addresses and phone numbers. And because it connects to the phone line, it dials, it lets you tap out letters, it lets you stamp them, make them look interesting. In the early days, well, we really, we really started looking into computers that we could own, because companies already had their computers. And even in personal computers, like with Apple, the computers are largely marketed in ways that the success of a company that's manufacturing them is based on how you can get into the big businesses and sell them into companies and universities that will buy tens of thousands of units. And the, the small little co consumer out there, the guy in the home, and there's millions of us, but they're all lesser importance. They're all number two. They get the secondary shipments. They get the secondary concern in products. And their needs aren't met as quickly. And I always cared so much about just normal people that just want to go down to a store, buy a product, use it, 
and have technology doing something for them. That's, that's what it was all about in the originally, so we could have our own computers. And a device like this is a different style computer. It's for uh, telecommunications. It's not for writing programs on. It's for keeping track of things that we do in our daily lives, but computer style. And it's like, uh, you know, having something like this, it's almost like a watch. It's small enough. It's personal. It's mine. And that's, that's what it's all about. The home consumer is, you know, who I've always been closest to. You know, I grew up with a lot of computer knowledge and used computers a bit more than most people. But, you know, in developing, starting off some of the computer stuff with Apple, the whole idea was finally it's affordable to have technology for yourself. And that meant technology that empowers people, lets them do more of what they want to do than they could have without it. And it also makes the people equivalent to companies and the like. It makes them more powerful. Andreas is a Southern California-based uh, retailer, uh, basically home electronics. We have a full line of everything in electronics. We have 10 stores now. We just opened two in the last two months. We'd like to be the leader in technology. And uh, whatever is new in technology, we'd like to be first to uh, bring it to the general public. And the Sony Magic Link, and uh, it, we actually we received it and advertised it very heavily, the grand opening of our new store in South Bay. and uh, it, it was just immaculate. People, a TV channel, a local TV channel called and wanted to do personal interviews with us at the same time because they were interested in the product themselves. We, when the first broke on the radio, stars were calling saying, is it in yet? You know, do you have them? What do you have? When are you going to get the accessories? You know, some of the customers would even say, can you save one for me? Can you hold one for me? I don't want you to run out. You know, it's, it's very, you know, especially on such a high priced item, uh, customers would actually demand that. Yeah, we just started carrying it, and it's great. It's uh, it's very efficient because it it actually takes care of a lot of a lot of different things. When we the ad first broke in the first two days, we sold ten units, which was very good out of you know ten stores, and we're not a highly recognized chain you know in the category. And being brand new, it took a while to get used to it. But everybody that has purchased it, I was at the store, our South Bay store, when it opened, and. Uh, Sony was there with representatives from General Magic, and the customers were overwhelmed with how user-friendly it is. Anybody could just go up and use it, even a, from a child all the way up to a grown adult, you know. And it's so simple to use, and they just wondered why it took so long for somebody to come out with the, you know, the functions that this has. We had a couple, a, uh, a production studio come down, and they wanted to use it because they're going to be on set off in South Carolina and they want to know if we could hook it up to their fax machine to send back messages and so forth. Very yeah, you exciting. can. They wanted to get like four or five, though. Oh, so we're yeah. going to have to special order some, I think, right now. That's no problem. Good. For a person who would be a mobile, a mobile business person who travels um, often, they would be able to carry their communication device with them at all times and never be without contact, you know, or not in contact with the people they need to be in contact with. They're always able to access you know, memos and, and all of that. Uh, my terminology is the mobile professional. Somebody that is out there that's in their car more than they are in an office and they're using it on a regular basis. I've showed it to a lot of my vendors and reps, uh, firms that come in and they're saying, I've got to have one. You know, because they have a lot of history and they carry the big heavy briefcases around where you can carry it all around in one little small unit, which weighs just a little over a pound. Uh, when people come to me, they generally are looking for uh, things that they, that they know that they can count on. They often ask for AT&T products because they know that, that AT&T is reliable and their products tend to last a long time. They're very innovative and always coming up with new, new ideas. When I think of AT&T, I think of quality, uh, name recognition. They have their own stores, even AT&T superstores, where they sell their own product, you know, because they're it's such a vast area that they're into now, you know, and they have so much room for growth. It comes from AT&T and Sony, which are, you know, two companies that have been around and are, you know, very reliable and people feel very safe with those names, especially, you know, AT&T. They feel very comfortable with their products. There's three very powerful names, you know, General Magic, which a lot of people have heard the name out there, but they were wondering when they were going to come to the market with something you know, of power and stability, you know, and, and the features that this has. And, uh, and you add in Sony, which is one of our major vendors, and AT&T, one of our major vendors, they're very supportive in every field, you know. And when you combine them together, you can get all the support you need. 
just by adding all the different uh, companies and services that want to join up to join the downtown feature on it where you can shop by mail, you know, CompuServe, Prodigy, all the different ones. I'm sure eventually they'll join in and, you know, be part of it. I think with the new knowledge in the industry of the product and all the advantages of the product that more people will be incentivized to buy more quickly or, you know, through the holiday season, uh, basically because of what it can do. You know, all the advantages and the time it can save and the user friendliness of the product. I've had uh, experiences where I think it's like part of me now, you know, it's got like part of my life in there. Uh, all the, you know, the vendors I deal with, the reps I deal with, uh, home numbers, fax numbers, how you can do email, uh, AT&T, the personal link is, I plug into my phone line every day and, you know, see how much email I have this morning. I did and I had eight messages in my inbox and email, you know, and it's, it's just wonderful. There's the games my son takes it away from me every night to play solitaire, you know. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm Alex Bennett. This is a live studio audience right here. Uh, and uh, it's uh, 752 right here at Live 105. And uh, this is from Dan. One cyclotron road. You know, we got that thing from him the other day. And, and I would not want to live on one cyclotron road. Sounds like a nuclear fallout area. Yeah. <laughs> Linda Blair is the goddess of all women. She is great. How come she's on your show? Also, people get the, one, of these, one of these things, the magic link. If they have them, they can mm -hmm. send me email as well and add their voice so we could have their voice. Of course, I could just go to the telephone. Right. <laughs> not nearly but as much fun. It's not as much fun as pushing a little button and hearing somebody go, hey, hey, hey. Just a plink to say, good show, Alex. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> I love this thing. I want another zany riddle from Steve Wozniak. Yeah, Those are tasty. Yeah, yeah. Every day, every eight now and then, I get a riddle from Steve Wozniak, and and I, uh, uh, Steve, I uh, seems to be from. Uh, we've never met, but mm -hmm. we have met through this, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, he keeps telling, you know, the worst riddles. The other one, the, the one the other day was. Um, uh, um, what do people? How much does a Chinese truck weigh? About one, one ton. <laughs> the other one was, what do people use, what chemical do people use the most to relax? Gasoline. Gasoline. <laughs> He's wacky, that's Steve. <laughs> that's Steve. That Steve's a wacky, wild guy. I don't have a life. No, I mean, I'm, I'm literally, I'm telling you, I go home, I keep this thing by the bed, I use it to dial numbers, uh, I use it to collect email, uh, I, every morning I collect the, uh, the news, here that uh, comes from AT&T on uh, the uh, Reuters thing. And I will actually use this at the beginning of the show. Uh, and I even like give a, a weather, for I'm even giving a weather forecast now for the whole country. There we go. It's a whole like weather map for the United but this States. Is like, these are tools for the mobile professional, Alex. Yes, I would say so. Yes, they are <laughs> tools for the mobile. Pro I'm not very mobile though. I just lie in bed all day playing scramble on this thing, you know. <laughs> It gives me uh, my news first thing in the morning, so when I'm coming coming in, I can just kind of go through this. The letters segment that you just uh, you saw is, is something that I do continually and have been doing for years. And it, uh, it now is basically email. It's not even faxes or letters anymore. It's actually email. And uh, it, it, this has just become a very integral part of my life. It's like having a, a, a day timer, but one that talks to the world. And it really... Uh, I, I, I don't think I could live without one. Marie writes us, good morning, Alex. Uh, when are you having George Lopez on again? I think he is hilarious. He has the sexiest voice. Well, got to run, off to work. Welcome uh, back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Alex Bennett, and this is a live studio audience here. And uh, uh, We have five oh. pairs of tickets to the Scaregrounds for the audience, so five of you will be lucky enough to see Linda Blair tonight. Thank you, Tony Bennett. It's been fun being with you. It's very nice being with you, uh, uh, Ron Moody. <laughs> I knew you'd start. I knew it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Paul Mooney, goodbye. Have a good weekend, everybody. <laughs> Actually, I got nothing to do tonight. I might come out. No, no, I do have something to do tonight. Two shows yeah. tonight, two tomorrow, one Sunday. Yeah, if I, if I don't go to, with Feldman up to, out to Marin, I might come out. I might, I might come out and see you tomorrow night, maybe. This is the new answer. It's the new what? Answer. 
You know something? This really is. I mean, it's really, it's, it's everything. You send letters, faxes. I mean, it's, you know. It's magic thing. Oh, I know. No, it's with me all the time. He'll be on the plane that goes to crash. He'll be reaching for that. Oh, my. Oh, no. I, I don't need women anymore. I've got my, my magic link. It's not that magic. I think I ought to write Doug Baram a note and thank him for, um, for all his help today. For this little note. Um, got a postcard. Uh, and, uh, dear Doug. Thanks for your help. And I'm extend that and go and get my little um, signature. Uh, here we go. Put that down there. And I think maybe since he's always saying something to me, I'll say something to him. Um, thanks very much, Doug, and I'll see you next week. Thanks very much, Doug, and I'll see you next week. Okay, so I'll just uh, put that in the send box, and it'll hold it there until I get home and uh, plug in. But what you can do is you can really personalize and and uh, have fun with it, and it's you know, it's kind of a fun thing to do with other people. I mean, I really enjoy, I, 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 I'm hoping for the day where there are hundreds or thousands of these things, and some of my best friends have them because I can really have some fun sending uh, sending stuff to them. It, it's not a computer, okay? I mean, if people, in fact, uh, if people want to think of it as a computer, it's just, uh, that's a waste of time. It, it does a specific thing. It's, it's like a day planner that can communicate. I have a very odd position in that I'm supposed to interpret this stuff and explain to people what's significant and who's making incredible mistakes and who's doing awfully smart things. And that's not the kind of job that you can get done um, by sitting in an office. Uh, part of the way that you recognize the new trends that are coming along is by living you know, the technological possibilities to the, to the limit. They're doing a great job on customer support, which is something that's uh, really kind of profoundly different for a phone company. Um, I, uh, I haven't had a major problem with personal link. It's always been there when I wanted to make, uh, you know, check my email. Um, the device itself has performed pretty much flawlessly. There are a few little bugs. Uh, but I have a friend who had something go wrong with his magic link and it, it cleared out the information about his um, uh, AT&T account. So he had to call up and now if you were to do this with any of the regular online services, it would take you a day or two to get somebody to you know, shut down the old account, start a new one, and get you back up. The, uh, 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 my friend called and 15 minutes later had a new account and was back on the network. That's uh, profound uh, customer service. I think AT&T's got the customer service end of this nail. Uh, it's a huge technological task, though, to, to expand something like uh, the uh, personal link network and, and get other kinds of services on it. And all of that is going to take a while. It's a point they've made repeatedly, but it's, it's actually a fairly legitimate uh, uh, problem. I think that a telephone with magic built into it is the kind of device that you're thinking of a person using in ordinary life. I mean, they want tickets to a concert. They want to find out what uh, movies are playing. Uh, they want to order something that they saw on their you know, fabulous interactive television. AT&T and its alliance members with General Magic don't need to worry about doing uh, one thing that connects all people. Instead, they're going to be able to plug different kinds of networks together in order to uh, uh, let agents serve people in the different parts of their lives. And that's the, uh, I think that's the secret to, uh, to success. Uh, today the flight to 4:30. You know I haven't been able to spend any time on Market Square yet. It's not really up. Uh, the kinds of services that they've got there are naturals for people who would use these software, uh, uh, you know, flowers and stuff like that. Uh, the one thing I, I think they, I'd like to be able to turn around in the in the equation I see developing with Personal Link right now is that 
I don't want to send flowers to my wife on her birthday because I'm out of town. I want to find a way to use this to be in town on my wife's birthday so I can be there when the flowers arrive. Um, it's, uh, that's part of that being a human being thing. Hello, this is Peter Putnam at at t Custom Service. How may I help you? This is the customer care center for AT&T's new personal link service. Um, at this center, we take all the customer calls associated with the, with the service, having to do either with uh, questions about the service, how do I do certain things with the service, uh, billing, those kind of things. Um, and we also here respond to all of their, their mail that they send us uh, over the network. Okay, in the lower right-hand corner, you'll see a little sign that says Mailbox Rules. Tap on that. Okay. And then tap on the actual message itself. And you can just fill in the blank there on who you want it to forward to. Oh, great. So I can change that to my name? Right. And have everything forwarded? That's right. Oh, great. Thanks an awful lot. Okay. You have a good day. You too. AT&T is committed to this kind of technology. We built this service to provide a way for the average person to change the way that they manage their life and the way that they communicate with other people. This is a brand new facility put up just for this service. AT&T's invested a lot of money in making sure that we're going to be able to provide really first-class customer support. We're really all about making a place here that's really a great place to work. If you want your people to take care of your Please customers, your first message. you've got to show that you care for them. You want to go and that you can take and, uh, care of them and that you care about them as people and individuals and human beings. And we think that that will translate directly into better customer care. Hello, this is Dale Thompson, AT&T Personal Inc. How may I help you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, do you have your magic link in front of you? Sure do. You'll notice on your desktop there is a um, postcard. Tap on that postcard. Okay. And then it'll have the to and the from and the about. To, from should be already be filled in with your name, so tap on the. Okay. Tap on the to and then choose who you would like to send your message to. Uh, tap on that and you're off. I think customers expect uh, some Whoa. of the same things out of any time that they call a, a customer care, customer support center. First of all, I mean, they want to be, they want their call answered quickly. They don't want to hang on the phone for a long time. And two, they want somebody on the other end of the phone that genuinely cares about their problem, okay, and that has the answer. How we do that, some of the way we do that is we do that through some of our systems. We have a lot of online uh, computer support about how the service works, what the different nuances are of the service. Um, in your account as a customer, we can bring up your complete record with us, when you've talked to us, what kind of problems you've had in the past, what solution we gave you. We did extensive research before we came here. We researched for almost a year, uh, different locations all across the country. And we settled on Raleigh for a, no, for a number of reasons. The main reason being the kind of people we thought we could attract. They're trained heavily on the service. Every uh, uh, one of my specialists on the, on the phone has a device, has an account on the network. They use the network regularly to communicate among themselves and with customers. Is it just, nobody else is there? Just from General Magic having that problem or have you got calls from all over the place? Okay, I'll, uh, I'll look into that. Okay, have a good day. Goodbye. Uh, this is just one more reach of AT&T's uh, vision. AT&T's vision is for you to be able to communicate anytime, anywhere. This is one more step in that process. Um, and we don't do anything halfway. Anybody can have the systems. Not everybody can have the right kind of people or the right kind of caring about their customers. And that's the difference we want to make.
I don't know. We're going to, we need to go check it out because we think he's doing it again. Okay, what's the My name's Mike Carpenter. Part. I'm an account specialist. Well, what we do well, is we go out to the field and obviously people that are hooking that service up illegally what kind of numbers are we talking without about making application like for service. We do that. We also work with uh, customer service as far as high bills and complaints and making arrangements with the customer. We also uh, work on any complaints and any uh, trouble orders, things like that, as far as power line problems, which could be causing uh, a situation with the customer. And then it dropped way off again, so I'm pretty sure he's doing something. Looked like he's home off work, and he, I guess he decided to go ahead and do it that day. And uh, got into him and got into the back and was able to see that he was doing it again. So, so we, we got him, changed the meter out, brought it in. What I may do also, I may just go ahead and I'll send a uh, fax over to uh, Mr. Walker okay. here in a few minutes. Because yeah. he's going in that area today, and I may have him check that. Okay. A lot of times I may be making arrangements with a customer or getting a uh, deferred payment agreement uh, signed with a customer, and I can actually make the arrangements and fax a form and get their signature electronically right there at uh, the resident or the business and just fax it uh, to our offices here. And they Why is that an advantage? It's a big advantage because I could get the service as an ex uh, example if a customer needed an extension and they were in danger of being disconnected for non-payment on this same day and stuff, I could fax it back, get it on our computer systems and have arrangements set up. It's a way to cut through the bureaucracy. Huh? Right. Yeah. It's, it's much quicker and I think it's very efficient. Well, I've been signed on with Personal Link for about three weeks. I find that their customer service is excellent. Uh, any questions? They give answers and replies very quickly right back to me, and I think they do a real good job. I've also got a package from them in the mail uh, real quick showing about the different tricks and things that you can use with the service and also about their market square and the electronic shopping that's going to be available hopefully by Christmas is the way it looks like, and uh, I just think it's a great situation. Do you have to take as many things out into the field now that you've got that uh, personal link service? No, that's what's great about the personal link service. Uh, now I just take the device out and of course with my ability using the personal link service to be able to fax and phone customers and the office and everything, I don't have to carry as much around anymore. Okay, we're fixing to go over to South Green Drive here, and what I'm going to do is check a couple of meters as I go further into the day. I'll be able to fax through the personal link service uh, back to our service center and to uh, my different uh, people I work with these rebuilds so they can get them online and uh, out to the customer a lot more quickly. I can fax it. I can electronic mail it. Uh, I can do it uh, any particular way through the service, and uh, works very efficiently. Hello, I'm Mr. Carpenter. I'm with the light company and uh, we got a message that you had a problem with your bill and I did check our meters out there. They just misread your meter. So if you like, uh, if I could just borrow your phone, I'll go ahead and send that message and reading over to our uh, yeah, revenue yeah, yeah, accounting. Yeah, yeah, the and, Okay, thanks. All right, I'll go ahead and get this, this hooked up to your phone here and we'll go ahead and send that out. What I'm going to do with the personal link service is really good. I'm going to be sending this to actually three individuals here. And uh, what they'll be doing is, is uh, sending a message over a fax to Revenue Accounting, and they'll also be sending one uh, to our meter readers and stuff to check and see uh, why the misread occurred and uh, what date and, and who did it. So we'll go ahead and, and set that up. For me, the, the greatest thing is I work a lot of areas where I have to travel a lot of distance and stuff working. This will allow me to do accounts like this and message and get orders back to our service departments to get things rolling right away where if I was out in the field, you know, with regular paper and no facts and everything, I would have to wait to get back to the office maybe to solve a lot of these problems. This way we get the customer's signature right out in the field, I fax it 
to the credit department and to our department, the arrangements are already set up. So it's much quicker and much more efficient. Okay, we got the facts completed. You're all taken care of, and we'll have that bill out to you right away. Our uh, next appointment here is is uh, a couple of security lights to be installed uh, on a couple of uh, service poles for a 7-Eleven. I'm drawing a what's called an outlet location and uh, what I do is I'm going to be drawing the poles here that we'll be installing security lights on. I'm also just seeing what kind of power we have available right now. I'm going to be sending this message to our uh, transmission department and they'll take this once I fax it back and uh, they'll work the order and have these lights installed very quickly. It's a lot quicker than if I had uh, had to draw it out and later when I get back to the office later today then write it and take it over. I'll just fax it to them on my next appointment and uh, we'll have this thing installed. Okay, I've got it all completed now. What happens now? Well, I'm going to go to my next appointment, uh, stop by and I'm going to get it a phone and I'm going to fax this over to our people and they're going to have these lights installed and uh, very quick time. A lot quicker than it would have been if I wasn't able to use the service and device. Well, good. Thanks for letting us tag along. Okay, y'all have a good day. Thanks a lot. Take care. This product is so popular, is so exciting, we can't keep it in stock. The people who are buying this device are, are from all types. I mean, they're not just propeller heads. They're, they're, from, they're people um, from all walks of life, okay? These are people who are, um, who are heavy communications users who use a lot of internet and online services. But these are also the, the everyday guy like you and me who are just interested in finding out easier, more productive ways in utilizing their time and communicating with friends, family, and using these devices as well. It's instrumental that we understand that we've got the piece of hardware, okay, and we've got the service behind it. You can buy many different types of telephones, but it's important for people to know what type of service they're using to make their calls, okay? And that's why AT&T is so crucial and plays such a crucial part in this, okay? AT&T, you know, they've always been pioneering technologically um, advances in communications. I mean, this isn't a new technology that's being embraced by a smaller company that no one knows about. I mean, these are two huge companies, successful companies that have sold well on our floor that the good guys supports um, emphatically and consistently. And when two companies like this, with their kind of technology that they have, the ability for them to market, when those two types of powerhouses come together and can market a product like this, I mean, it's going to be successful um, no matter what we do. We're getting calls from customers, okay? We're getting feedback through sales reps. We're even getting feedback from, from competing companies and vendors saying, what's going on with this? I mean, there's so much excitement for the product, for what it can do, what its potential is. This is a, a, a platform that, although it is new, I believe is going to be embraced widely, I mean, nationwide, worldwide, okay? It's, that's why I say it's going to explode. I think that this is the beginning of a new, a new, truly a new revolutionary way of communicating, okay? So since it takes in so many important parts of, of our day in terms of communicating with friends and family and business via cellular phone uh, type connections, email, internet, etc., since it brings together so many of those different things and does it so successfully and so easily, Okay, with the, with the General Magic platform and the help of AT&T and then the powerful you know, Sony brand name on a product like this, there's, that's why you're going to have so much success. That's why you're going to sell a lot of them and that's why we can't uh, keep them in stock to, you know, to uh, catch up with the customer demand right now. 
basically, what I mean, what happened when, when we put these on order and we got them into our, so they were gone immediately. We ordered more. Those were, again, sold immediately. We are continually trying to get more of this product. I mean, the demand is so high for this product. People are so excited about it. We literally can't keep the stuff in stock. We are in uh, North Bend, the new multimedia capital of the, of the Seattle area. I'm uh, an independent uh, multimedia consultant. I offer my services to companies that are looking to uh, implement uh, uh, multimedia communications in their, in their marketing mix. The whole area up here is, uh, is pretty sophisticated in terms of the use of technology. It's a very active community. Microsoft here, the spin-offs from Microsoft, for multimedia developers, CD-ROM title developers, etc. Uh, this is where I'm set up with, with my tools that allow me to, to communicate uh, online. Uh, I've got uh, a Mac Portable uh, with a color monitor. Uh, I've got a, a Sony Magic Link device. Uh, my first purchase of a personal communicator and extremely happy with the device, the personal link service. What it allows me to do is, uh, is, uh, is to be able to be uh, at multiple places at the same time, at least that's a perception to people I do business with. And uh, uh, it gives me a flexibility that just was not, in, you know, that I didn't have before, where I had to go from point A to point B to go to a certain office. I can do a lot of work here remotely. Um, uh, when I need to uh, untether from my setup right here and go on the road, uh, the Magic Link always go with me. In fact, in my, my, uh, my accessory pack, it's my laptop computer along with Magic Link. One of the things I'm missing right now is the uh, uh, untethered existence with this uh, SkyPager card that is, uh, is going to be part of my addition here as soon as it's available on the market. Oh, it's allowed me to uh, compress time and space where I can do more in a given period of time. And that's the beauty of it. Uh, uh, I can be working away on one device at the same time doing uh, faxing, email, um, communicating with other people on the Magic Link. So it's, it's, an, it's an, a great accompaniment to how I normally operate. And I can do more in a given period of time. When somebody sends you something, it automatically is stored as a, as a notation, as a name that will be called up again. The personal link is outstanding. You know, with the 1-800 service, built into it. You don't have to go through any of the access numbers. And I'm really excited about getting the, uh, the uh, SkyPager card. I could be in my meeting. Uh, I can get a, a SkyPage. Up comes on the screen. I really need to talk to you as soon as possible. You can gracefully acknowledge that message. And if there's an analog phone, uh, if, uh, if you've got time to go ahead and enter a response, you can do it discreetly. You're connected, so you're basically doing what I consider true multitasking. You're conducting a meeting at the same time you're getting back to people. And the, to me, that's response. People appreciate that. That's how you want to do the business. Well, I think the whole device with the, imp the uh, at and implementing Telescript, the first uh, uh, use of Telescript in the marketplace today, it's, in my opinion, it's the true intelligent, the first true intelligent uh, personal communication device. That's why I got one. Well, I'm off to my sales guy called me, and he's got the SkyPage card in. And boy, that's the last piece I need for this device that will allow me to do wireless. You excited about that? You bet. Well, we're headed down from Sakomi Falls to uh, going into uh, Fall City which is the uh, lower plateau, what they call the plateau, and then we'll uh, head into Bellevue. You can see from our surroundings that, uh, you know, this is one of the more beautiful spots here in uh, western Washington. How come you can live Well, that's the beauty of, uh, of uh, computers and electronics today, is that with services like Personal Link that allow you 800 access in to the network, uh, you can stay in touch with colleagues, clients, friends, family, easily through through a, through a connection, and uh, like we have at my home office there, you know, have a setup that is you know conducive to doing work. You physically don't have to be at point A or B. You can pretty much reside from your own setting. I like the metaphor of Magic Cap, 
and uh, the technology behind Personal Link, Telescript, is, is, does not have an equal. I think they, they have allowed a, a real natural way of communicating, sort of next to picking up your phone or face-to-face -face communications. It, the interface doesn't get in the way of, doing, of communicating, and that's really not the case with other devices out there. I almost forgot this. Hey, Joel. How's it doing great? This thing has been working out fantastic. What I'm looking for, of course, is, you know, the, the Sky Pager card. I know yeah. you have it for me. Yeah, I do. You just take it, plug it in like your static RAM card, yeah. and you're all set. We're ready to go. Yeah, yeah. And, and then if you want to get a page on it, just put it in your pocket, and you get a regular page nationally on it, um, and just plug it in. Well, I finally got my SkyTel pager card. Now I can put it in with a Magilink device and do wireless communications at my favorite place, Snoqualmie Falls. Looking for my first SkyPage message. Who's it going to be coming from? It's going to be coming from Joel from Magnolia. Here it is. What's it say? It says, Steve, how's the SkyPager working? We're looking great to me. You know the reason that you got this thing? That is, ex this was the best part of it, is being wireless and untethered. This is, this is going to make life that much more interesting. This is the uh, Network Operations Center for AT&T Personal Link Services. The network itself is scattered around the country hundreds of miles away, but from this location, the folks who work here can monitor and maintain the network under any circumstances that come along. The uh, AT&T Personal Link Network provides electronic communication services and electronic shopping services uh, to people who have Magic Cap PDAs and ultimately to a much wider audience of people who are interested in personal communications. We've been open for about a month now, open for business. Uh, the response has been great. The analysts and the press have loved it. The uh, customers we have on the service have loved it. Uh, we get good feedback through every place we look for it. What the folks here do is they monitor the state of the network and they can monitor down to a single printer or a single workstation on someone's desk. And they're watching for problems in the network. They're watching the load on the network and they have the ability from this location to take whatever actions is needed to make sure that the uh, customer service is provided the way it ought to be, that the load doesn't go too high. If there are any problems with any of the hardware or software in the network, they can uh, fix those problems from here. They can switch over to backup software. They can load new software. They can uh, switch over to backup hardware. Anything that needs to be done to keep the network running properly. The technology behind the Network Operations Center has been built into the service from the very beginning, so we've really been working on it for three years. The uh, specific location we're in here, we've been uh, putting in place for the last year or so, putting together all the uh, workstations and the displays and monitors and so forth. What I find is unique about this work center is the way that we've uh, tried to use our own technology to uh, operate the work center, the way that we've used the, the latest uh, technology that we could find, both within AT&T and from outside of AT&T, to give the best quality service we can to our customers. It's a center that uses the technology that our network uses. Uh, we use Telescript in our personal link network to carry people's messages around. But we also use Telescript in this network operations center for these folks to do their jobs. They use Telescript agents to uh, monitor the state of the software, they use it to check the, the uh, contents of people's mailboxes to look for lost messages and a variety of other functions using the same technology we offer our customers. In our first uh, several weeks of operation, we've had virtually zero downtime on the whole network. Um, we've got backup hardware that's uh, in hot spare configuration. If any hardware problems occur, the, uh, the software will immediately switch to the other process or the other hardware to provide continuous service to our customers. Uh, we have triplicated disks, so if there's any customer data that's uh, lost on one disk, we've got at least two backups of that same data. So we've gone to great expense to make sure we have complete reliability. That reliability extends into the software also. When we take a person's message from their device, before we'll let that device disconnect from our service, we'll make a, a safe copy of that message in a storage area so that if the uh, message is lost in later processing, we can recover it. Our goal is to have zero lost messages on this service.
AT&T has a long heritage of network operations, and uh, I don't know if AT&T is the only company that can do it, but AT&T certainly has a lot of experience and knows how to do it. A lot of companies build network services that uh, are great from the customer standpoint, but AT&T also looks at it from the network operations standpoint. And, uh, as a corporation, we don't let, don't let things go out the door unless they're top-notch from both perspectives. AT&T is 100% behind Personalink. We've got... Uh, We've deployed a nationwide network that has uh, access from anywhere in the country for people that subscribe to Personlink. We've deployed a customer care center in North Carolina. We've deployed a network operations center here in New Jersey that use the latest state-of-the-art technology. We've uh, spared little or no expense in making it the best kind of operations support we can for the Personlink network. And it's a strong commitment from AT&T to this product and this service. We're certainly proud of what we've done in this organization, we're proud of what we've done with Personlink services. We think we're off to a great start, but the job is nowhere near over. We've got uh, a list of, of enhancements and uh, a growth of our network that uh, is long enough to keep all of us busy for many years to come. I'm the Senior Vice President of Sound Advice, and we're in one of our stores in Plantation, Florida. Uh, this is the communication area where we sell um, mainly cellular telephones, regular telephones, and now the Sony Magic Link. We've been getting a little bit of response um, over the phone, but mainly it's been customers coming in and seeing the product and getting a good demonstration on the product. When one person buys one, he starts to tell his friends about how neat it is and tries to get them or his business associates to come in and buy other Magic Links so that they can use them to communicate with each other. You know, the fact that a person looks at a Magic Link, what they're seeing is not just a, the communicator, they're seeing Sony, they're seeing the name AT&T, um, they're learning that it's also a collaboration with Motorola and other people, and it gives them a great sense of comfort in terms of the device because there's a lot of devices that have failed in the past, um, and there's a lot of devices that aren't doing well. This one has the backing of probably the best people in the industry. AT&T brand recognition is definitely the way to go. Uh, if you're going to have something to sell and it's brand new and people are scared because it's a new product, it's good to have the brand that uh, you know people will recognize, such as AT&T, Sony, America Online. They're all brand names that people feel very comfortable with. Yeah, this is entirely different, entirely new. It draws people to the product, and once they start playing with it, it's something they really want to have. I mean, it is pretty much unlike anything else that they've ever seen before. You wanted to, let's say for an example, uh, see if you had any messages. Mm -hmm. You would just plug into any standard telephone jack and go into your AT&T personal link services and see if anybody's left you any messages. Uh, you access your messages at your convenience. So anybody who needs to stay in touch is really the ideal customer. And, um, I have a customer who's a doctor and uh, he wants to use it to keep in touch with some critical care uh, patients that he has. And um, basically, you know, he just wants them to be able to find out exactly where he is at all times. The best way to tell customers how to communicate is to show them how we communicate. Uh, we put our entire sales management team um, on Personal Link and Magic Link, and we use it to communicate with each, each other. Each of the stores can communicate with any of the others, and our sales management team can communicate to our sales managers in each of our stores. My vice president of sales thinks it's the greatest thing, and he's an organization nut. And um, it's saved him a lot of time in terms of what he has to do in his daily routines every day. A lot of people want to see it. A lot of people are very interested in it, wanting to know what it is. Um, and when you break it out and they see me using it and how fast I zip through it, uh, they like it. Um, they think this is going to be the future. A lot of executives are going to be using it. Uh, a lot of technical guys from Motorola are coming over, seeing how they can apply it to their business and, and use it. Keeps me in business. <laughs> Helps me keep with my customer base, too. Stick with my customer base. Oh, Get yeah? back to them, follow up, best follow up tool I've ever had. But they're, they're getting probably the two leaders in uh, media today. I mean, you've got the, the phone and future uh, communications giant of the world, if not the communications giant of the world, tied in with the media giant of the world, Sony Music, Sony Video, you, you really, it's a winning combination. AT&T and Sony have been very helpful in terms of getting the message across. Um, AT&T has been into a lot of our stores to talk up um, the service, and Sony during the holiday season is going to have demonstrators in our stores to demonstrate the Magic Link product. For our use, it's wonderful. A communication device, you can't get anything better. Uh, 
Well, like in a, a real small town, Johnson City, New York, it's, it's nice. Nice here, nice for the kids. As you can obviously see by our airports and, and, uh, and such, we're, we're kind of a small community. However, technologically, we're pretty, you know, with it computer-wise and stuff. So I saw an ad for this little device uh, a while back in the papers, about three weeks ago, I think. It was, uh, uh, it looked neat. It was like uh, something I'd be interested in. Fall in love with it. Basically, uh, I'm just sitting in, at my desk. I got hallways and stuff to go down. And then I see this building called the AT&T Personal Link Building. So I uh, knock on the door with my little stylus, and it lets me in and says, welcome to personally. You got a little bell ringer and a whole bunch of other, uh, other things. And it's, uh, so I just touch something, and it's all there. Sign up for a software upgrade. Sign up for uh, a directory lookup. So being in the music business, or trying to be in the music business and trying to get my songs around, I thought I'd do some experimentation with the directory lookup through AT&T Personal Link. Lo and behold, out of the AT&T uh, AT personal link uh, directory comes Mark Klein, president of National Video Promotion for Epic Records. Sent him a bunch of tunes. We're putting together something called NAMS, which is uh, basically an alternate music source for people that don't have uh, record, record deals and, and could never get record deals because their music was always passed by. We're working on this thing. It's a computer-based thing where we uh, put it simply digitize music and slow action video, digitize it and put it on a computer, put it on the internet, and it goes around the world. So there's about six, seven people in the group, uh, and I use it to communicate with them. Uh, they'll ask questions. I'll give my opinions. I'll tell them of my experience, what I think about the whole project, where it should go, and we communicate day by day. To do this by phone would give you like, make you so tired at the end of the day. Meanwhile, everybody gets a message, everybody puts it on, goes personal link, personal link can distribute these things to any place you want them to go. I can send one to fax machines, I can send one to email people, I can send uh, uh, people that have uh, SkyTel pagers, Eventually, I can send it directly to a communicator through ATT personal link to their communicator wherever they happen to be on the beach so they can listen to me sing to them. ATT has a personal link filing system whereby they're actually the bank. I have extreme confidence. Another thing I love about this ATT thing, and this is like fresh off the block, that's the chicken in the background for you. The personal link is, is like a bank. Basically, uh, it will store your messages. Uh, you, it will store your internet messages. You can uh, uh, query companies, uh, and that uh, will store it in the bank if the files are too big, and it will distribute them to you uh, piece by piece. Because uh, a lot of people don't have memory cards. I've got a little memory card in here. I can't really eject it, but there's one over there on the table. Uh, and that's where I send all my information. But a lot of people just have the communicator, so they need the, that bank system. It says, this is from so-and-so, and it's a large file, and uh, do you want to download now, or do you have enough room to download? And uh, you can either choose not to, or, or free up some memory in your machine, call back later. The 800 number you call is lightning fast. You're in a collection mail and out within half a minute, you know, four, five, six, eight messages within two minutes. Really impressed with that. If I send a message out to somebody and maybe didn't through my own error, I, I picked something wrong or uh, maybe uh, didn't do something right, it'll send me back a, uh, a message that your agent at AT&T personally did not your message didn't get through. So obviously I know I gotta do something again. So I enjoy that feature. And I've got a lot of confidence in this thing. I'm running to uh, a couple people uh, involved in our group, plus a friend of mine uh, who's uh, building a new house, house in Nashville. And, uh, 
just thought I'd uh, send him a note. What we did is uh, my friend Joe and I came up with some, uh, just a little different chord structure with uh, uh, in Amazing Grace, uh, Grace uh, just a couple uh, different things. And uh, I'm going to send them out to um, a few friends of mine, one in Nashville, one in Indiana, and a few people that are uh, associated with the NAMS group, uh, one or two locally and one in Texas. and. Uh, one in Buffalo. It saves an awful lot of time because there's varied means that Personal Link will handle. Uh, in other words, somebody doesn't have a Personal Link, so it will automatically send it to their fax. And the other have uh, internet connections, so we'll send it to the, the internet connections. Basically, I got the letter, signed it, press send, and goes in the outbox. Dials that wonderful AT&T 800 number. Starts now. Should be connected immediately. I'm really impressed with the speed of this thing. Right here is mailbox rules. So you just touch that and your mailbox rules come in. Uh, you can forward a copy of all messages from, these are just generic setups that came with the machine. But it would, it would say, from, I would say from, say Greg Laveria of NAMS about uh, a certain subject, which would be uh, NAMS updates, and I could have that automatically sent to uh, Mr. Yeager in Texas, who's also part of the NAMS group. But I won't even have to collect the message. The personal link center will take care of that and inform me it's taking care of that business. Uh, it's unbelievable to me. You know, I don't have to do anything. And the connection time just kills me. The rest of the uh, services I've been with. It's just busy signals, busy signals. I'm there already. It's talking to the AT&T Personal Link Center. It's connected. You know, usually that took about a minute, two minutes of time of, of connecting. Now it's letting you know, retrieving new mail. There might be some there, there might not be there, but it's checking, uh, checking. Okay, I've got that dot tone, which means there's no mail there and then it immediately disconnects, so you're not on with any time. We're just recording them on the lips that I'm going to include on the postcard to Rob Johnson. And uh, basically, I'm just going to write him a short little high, high note, and uh, here, you know, just here's my kids. And basically, it's just going to be uh, them playing five seconds of this, and he'll get a big kick out of it, you know. Uh, AT&T Personal Link isn't really seriously, it really s seriously, it's not meant specifically for the businessman. What it's meant for is the common person. Now, I don't know this for a fact, but I think that's what they're shooting for. And I think they're shooting for a common person that really doesn't want to have a huge computer sitting on their desk, but wants to communicate and have some really great features available to them. Okay, ready, girls? Two, three, four. From Sam uh, and Bree. Okay, let's go. Alrighty. There's a phone plug here. Here's our extra the link. Very simple to plug this baby in. Okay, ready to go? Ready to go? Yep. All we have to do, this is so simple, I love this. It's not like with a computer, this is unbelievable. Send it out. The little hat is whirling around and it's going to ATT Personal Link, right to Rob, and he should get it in a matter of moments. It's just great, it's gonna work out perfect for me. It's gonna work out perfect for the everyman guy. I can concentrate on the music, let AT&T Personal Link do the work for me. I'm all set. He'll have the message as soon as he checks his message box. If he has, if he has his AT&T uh, uh, personal link set up, set up to urgent message, uh, it'll get to him right away. And uh, perfect way to communicate. Love it.
you confirmed? Yes. Do I need to show you my card, or is the film crew good enough? No. This is the only airport where they require you to show your uh, premier executive card to stand in line. <laughs> Logan is the only airport where you can put your computer through the, uh, um, uh, you know, the X-ray machine, and they still make you turn it on. Um, O'Hare probably has the best food, and. Uh, of course, they have that new age tunnel for relaxing. Uh, and then, then, of course, there's Newark. Uh, I've got this set up so there will forward messages from certain people to other members of my staff so that I don't have to bother with uh, managing that stuff. And, the, and then the network does that automatically. In fact, they get the mail before I do sometimes because they check first. I've had uh, pre-release versions of every one of the PDAs now. I have EO number 58 uh, still sitting on my uh, counter. I've got uh, five Newtons. Um, three of them were made before anybody ever had one. I had the, I had the first Newton that was available outside of uh, Apple. No, the second Newton, I take it back. Um, I had the first AT&T mail account on the EO and the, the very first eWorld account that anybody outside of Apple did on my Newton. Um, and I had one of the first of Magic Link. Um, I think I'm pretty good at judging this stuff. So far, this has been the best one. Like I said earlier, I'm really looking forward to being able to put something like this on my wife's desk so that she can send something to me very spontaneously. I mean, her internet account is a real hassle for her. She doesn't really like to do it. She sings opera. She doesn't you know, hack code. And the internet, uh, as friendly as the software that we have makes it, uh, doesn't really delight her. Um, and I think that when we can get a, a, a telephone with magic built into it, she's going to have something she really enjoys using. So I'm telling Jane that I'm just sitting here minding my own business while AT&T captures my natural use of the Magic Cap operating system. I just act natural. They're not really there. Oh, okay. Age <laughs> group, if you try to no. in his test in his efforts to test his manager. He's pretty pretty mother probably. I definitely not for me. A year of it. Really? So oh, that's great. So yeah, oh I always wish I had cousins my age. All right. A lot of technologies changed my life for the better. Uh, I find computer technology, when I add one or another, is only an incremental change from what I had before. Uh, the thing, the main difference between using this device and everything else is that if I have a thought and I need to let somebody know about it, I can just pull it out, type it out, and send it. Uh, with regular old email on my on my Macintosh, even though I carry my Macintosh with me everywhere, I have to take the computer out, turn it on, or wake it up, launch the application, and then do it. Or I have to wait until I get back to my desk or somewhere where I can, you know, record my thoughts. Uh, the uh, Magic Link lets me get these ideas down on the spot and then send them when I get back to the phone the next time. And it does it; takes care of it. The one thing I have it doing is uh, we do a series of. Uh, uh, day-long seminars called the Digital Media Roadshows in different cities around the country. If I get a message on this device about the roadshows, it automatically forwards it to everybody else on the staff because they all attend these things too. Uh, it's important to our presence in, in cyberspace and, and you know, in large part it's kind of like marketing us. Uh, but if they can get this information, know who's interested, respond to them themselves, the uh, people who take time to send just me email get a much more 
dynamic response than they would if they uh, if I had to take care of doing all that myself. You know, send this out, send this there, and send that there. Uh, uh, I'd like to be able to set the thing to uh, uh, tell people that I'm on vacation and I will get back to them on a given day. Uh, that's going to be in the next version of the opera, of the uh, personal link network. Uh, but like I said, the it's not a it's not a it's not a handheld operating system. General Magic's Telescript and Magic Cap and the personal link network that connect all the devices running them is much more than something that I can hold in my hand. Um, hopefully, if they realize their vision, it will link my desktop computer to my handheld device, to my cellular phone, to my home telephone. My son, my wife will be able to send me a message that arrives with their signature on it wherever I am in whatever work setting I'm in. Personal link service is starting on the right foot because they're making sure that everybody who is on the service is able to reach each other. And there are 1,200 people on there, but I have 150 addresses in here uh, because it's very easy to identify somebody who has this stuff and then to get the information right into your device. Uh, you know, unlike the Newton where you had to put it all in. Uh, with regard to the uh, success of Personal Link, AT&T has a lot of work to do uh, that it's not used to doing. They have to be able to support developers they have to be able to lend a great deal of uh, goodwill and support to companies who are going to make innovative applications. Now, that's the forte of a computer company, but not necessarily a telecommunications company. Uh, in order to do that, they need development tools. And I think the people at Comdex will understand that better than anybody. These are the people who, are going, who, who need to get their hands on the stuff that lets you make agents that serve your company or your, your own needs. The network itself is rock solid. I, you know, I have not had the network fail on me once in the entire time I've had this device. And uh, that speaks volumes about how much work they put into making the, the uh, what used to be the computer is now the network. And that's a very complex, difficult thing to do if you're going to build a computer that reaches to every phone jack in the world. Uh, they seem to have got that part right. Personal Link users need to feel as though they're getting something new almost every day because they're going to be thinking of new needs and new uses for this device. Uh, if AT&T can respond to that, if General Magic can respond to that, and if the individual members of the General Magic Alliance can respond to that, they have a real winner. I've said it a dozen times. I don't believe you guys are CBS News, so just leave me alone. Leave me alone! The point to this whole thing is, in my opinion, not to sell you Magic Link or Personal Link. Um, I really believe technology can uh, allow you to live the way you want to. Someday, it's not going to be that your employer buys technology to make you a better employee, but that uh, uh, they buy technology in order to make you a better offer, to give you the kind of life that you want to have living wherever you want to, like out here in this beautiful green state instead of the brown state of California, um, and so that you can participate in the community that you live in. And maybe we can start to fix things again. And that's why I do what I do. Uh, and that's why living in the digital world is really all about having my son and my wife and uh, uh, being a real human being instead of just being a darn fine employee. So next time uh, you're talking with somebody about the, the devices that you're going to use, make sure that the choice that you're going to make is the one that's going to make you the best person, not the one that your boss says you got to use or else. Because someday you're going to be able to take, tell them to take a hike. Goodbye, Mr. and Mrs. Comdex.